Pretty awesome, right? Screen mirroring your Android phone, any Android phone, by the way, to your computer or your laptop. Completely free and it's lag free. Extremely smooth, extremely simple. And not only that, you can actually control your phone. Not only that, you can actually control your Android phone using your mouse and keyboard. So let's just say I'm not touching my phone, but I'm actually using my mouse right there. It's pretty awesome. You can type with your keyboard, you can use your mouse, you can even record your Android screen on full HD with 120 hertz. You can stream platforms like YouTube, Instagram, whatever you like, and it's completely free. You can watch video, you can watch videos, you can use Instagram if you want to, Instagram, and you want the full screen on your computer, you can actually just click on the full screen and bam, that is it. All right, so let's just, let's just dive right into it. Hey, what is up everybody? I'm Riz and welcome to another awesome video. In this video, I'm gonna teach you how you can cast your Android phone to your computer or your laptop completely free. I'm gonna show you how you can control your Android phone from your computer using your own keyboard and mouse. I'm gonna show you how you can record your Android phone on your computer. You can stream platforms like YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, whatever you like. And this will work for any Android phone, by the way. So comment down below what phone you're using. And if you have any questions, do let me know in the comment section below. I will definitely, definitely get back to you. So let's just, let's just dive right into it. All right, so as you can see, that is my desktop computer and this will work for literally any computer or your laptop, okay? So don't worry about it. This will work for laptops, computers, whatever you like, okay? So the first thing you wanna do on your computer or your laptop is head over to iMyPhone's Mirror 2 software. It's completely free. Links will be in the description box below, so be sure to check it out, okay? All right, so once you're on their website, you have the option to download it for free. So just click on the download free. It will automatically download it for you. I have done this before. I cannot install it again. It's Again, really simple installation, nothing fancy at all. Okay, so once the installation is done, it should look... All right, so once the installation is done, just go ahead and open it up. It should look exactly like this. You have two options. You can use this for iPhone or any iOS device, or you could use it for Android. So in this case, in this video, we'll be using it for the Android. So just click on the Android and you have two different options. It's gonna show you a USB option and a Wi-Fi option. Again, both are pretty simple. I'm gonna show you both of them. So let's just dive right into it. All right, so got my Android phone here. This is Samsung S22 Ultra. It doesn't matter what Android phone you're using, by the way. I'm saying it. I'm saying it again and again because we need to, because we need to enable the USB debugging. So every time you plug into your, uh, so every time you plug into Mirror 2 software, it's gonna show you step by step guide depending on what phone you have. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so. Got the plug right here, so I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, put this in. As you can see, it's charging. It's connected, by the way, and it's connecting on the right side. As you can see, it's asking me if my phone is S22 Ultra, so that's basically Riz S22 Ultra. Okay, so I'm just gonna click on it, and it's gonna it's gonna show me the exact step-by-step -step guide on how I have to enable the USB debugging. Okay, so it's all the steps are right there. So I'm gonna write I'm. I'm just gonna jump right into it. Go all the way to my developer options and uh, I have to enable the USB debugging. So I have to find it right there. Okay, so USB debugging enabled. It's okay. And you can see the screen is changing and it's connecting again. And it's asking for the permissions and it's asking for the permission as well. Just click on allow, click on allow and you have to click on the okay from your computer. So just click on okay. It's loading, as you can see, it's loading, and that's pretty much it, it's connected. I mean, it's extremely smooth. I mean, it's so smooth, and there is, there's basically no lag at all, right there. Extremely smooth, I, I can even play game if I want to, so let me. Okay. Uh, apologies about the sound, by the way. I'm really sorry about the sound. Again, again, I'm really sorry about the sound. I just have to turn it down, and okay. Oh. It's so smooth, I mean. <laughs> okay, so if you wanna go full screen, either you have the option to go full screen. So just let me just click on the full screen, and there you go. You can, you have basically a full screen option right there. Okay, so the sound is also coming from my computer. You can actually change that if you want. So let me just uh, collect all the resources. It's pretty awesome. You have the full screen from your phone, basically no lag at all. It's just so smooth. I mean, I, I still don't believe it. I just can't believe it. It's so smooth, I mean, look at this. So, so smooth. I can I can even use my camera if I want to. So let me just go ahead, take a photo or something. Let me, um, okay, so I got a 10X. I have to use that 10X. Oh, that's my favorite. Actually, that one was my favorite. I'll so, say yeah, I took a photo, okay. 
let me just open the photo for you so wait where's the photo okay right there <laughs> It's pretty awesome. It's so cool. I mean, it's extremely simple. I mean, it, it is basically lag free. I mean, I, I still can't believe it. It's so smooth. I mean, it literally every click, every what I'm, every time I just click on it. Hold on. Let me just uh, let me just open up my Instagram and just show you the videos. Literally every single click is basically it's just so smooth. I, I can't believe it. Oh. Oh, you can even use YouTube, but the, okay. So I'm going to show you a bonus tip right here. So every time you're connected, you can actually have the option for the switching. You can actually, you have the option to use the computer for the mouse or keyboard. So let's just say if, I, if I, I'm not using my phone. Okay. So right there, I'm not using my phone, but I'm using my computer literally. Okay. So I'm not touching my phone. Like I'm going to keep it right there. Um, I'm using my mouse. Okay. I'm just going to type it on my keyboard. Okay. So let's just, uh, Let's just type it. I'm not using my keyboard. I'm literally just using my mouse keyboard. Okay, there you go. I am not using my phone. I am not using my phone. I'm using my keyboard and mouse. It's so awesome. I mean, looking. You can you can scroll using your mouse. You can uh, you can use your video. Okay, okay. How can I can I use my gestures? Oh, oh, I can use my gestures as well. Look at this. I am not touching my phone, but I'm actually using my mouse and keyboard you can even type messages you can type uh, you can type anything you like okay so i'm not touching my phone right there you can actually record your phone from you so every time you you have to change a path so they just say i want to i want to data on my desktop okay and it's basically recording right now i think oh now you have to now it's recording three two one bam basically you can see the uh, you can see the line you can see the limit you can see the timer on the right side. So it's basically recording for six minutes. So let's just say if I want to record, this is basically 1080p full HD recording. Okay. Depending on how, uh, resolution, depending on the resolution of your phone. So, okay. So it's 16 seconds. Let's just stop it. Okay. Open folder. That is my video. I'm just going to click on it. Okay. There you go. Extremely smooth. And that is 120 Hertz. If I'm not mistaken, that is really, really smooth. I mean, you can, you can play games, you can record your gameplay or whatever you like. So, really awesome extremely simple and the way you disconnect is basically just you just have to unplug the phone and it's going to disconnect it for you so let's just say if i want to if you want to connect again so let's just uh just plug in the usb and it's going to automatically connect again but if it's not you can actually click on try again and it's connecting again so pretty pretty awesome there you go it's loading and that's it extremely smooth you can do a lot with this you have tons of options you have tons of you have tons of options. You can you can control your phone. It's just awesome. So let me know in the comment section below how do you like the video. And if you have any questions, do let me know in the comment section below. I will definitely definitely get back to you. That's it for the video. I'm Riz, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.